hi everybody welcome back to my channel let's go ahead and get started and talk about the first paycheck budget for the month of november here is my monthly calendar it will be listed below and jasmine just came in here so i'm hoping she would be still so we can get this budget out the way okay so jasmine just came in and she is not going to be still so let me get her from up under the bed before she start eating on something that's under there so let me go open the front door so she can run to the living room and then I can put her on her leash. Hold on. Okay, let's do this again because I don't know where I stopped it. So here's my monthly calendar for November. All shops will be listed below. And I think it looks amazing. Now, the last time you all seen this video, I did not set any goals, but... My goals for the month of November is no credit card November. And that just means if I don't have the money for it, I can't get it. Also, I want to eat sweets because I know it's going to happen. But I do want them to be a lower amount. And I also want to focus on savings that are very important. So let's go ahead and get started with the budget. So, here is my monthly budget. Ooh, I like that. The key to su success is to focus on goals, not obstacles. I know that's right. So, let's take a look at the first paycheck. Okay, so when it comes to work, I'm starting off with $1,230.44. Of course, it was about $51 and some change more. But remember in one of my previous videos, I did... <clears throat> I don't know what was going on with my voice, but I did state that I had used Spot Me by mistake. So as soon as my check got deposited, Chime did take their $51.31. And Jasmine, what are you chewing on? Oh my goodness. Anywho, I have $1,221 left after offering. And offering is a lower amount because... I took out the money for everything. My mom life insurance was $62. What my sister owed me for the phone bill for $45. I also took out an extra $12. So yeah, that equals up to $9.44 that I did send my sister. When it comes to the bills, of course, these are pretty much always the same. So NES 65 Little's Credit Union 95, which is going to take care of AT&T. It's going to take care of Cricket, the phone bill. It's going to take care of Netflix. It's going to take care of, what else? Is that it? It was Hulu, but I'm going to cancel that at the end of the month. That way I'm not charged the regular amount of $8 and some change. When it comes to not mine, this bill is not mine, but I am going to pay for it for this month. And remember I said, if I don't have to pay this bill, I am going to put the entire $100 into my Roth account. When it comes to State Farm, that bill did go up just a little bit, not much. So I am saving $96. When it comes to term life, I am saving $30 for the first paycheck. And then by the end of December, I'll have that balance in full to pay since I am on a quarterly schedule. When it comes to rent, rent is $405. When it comes to car, I'm doing $110. No, I do not have a car payment. This is just how much my car payment was before I paid it off. And when it comes to hair, no, it's not a bill per se, but... This amount, when I go get my hair done on Saturday, depending on my schedule, if not Saturday, then it will be on Wednesday. When I go get my hair done, it's going to cost about 60 bucks. So I'm just going to split that payment since I am paying it on my credit card, which wouldn't be due until December, if not January. So when we total those up, we have $881 with 340 bucks left and let's see where that money went so when it comes to cash envelopes we have food for 60 and yes i know 60 dollars is a lower amount but if you know you know when it comes to essentials i'm doing 20 dollars instead of 30 dollars because i do have 10 dollars in quarters that i get to use for the washer 
when it comes to oh no i'm doing 10 when it comes to travis i'm doing 10 for him just in case he needed or i need it when he asks for something at the store he may not need it at all and if so that is good when it comes to travel i'm doing 60 bucks so all together that's 160 dollars with 180 dollars left so where is that 180 dollars going So for save it, we have 130 and when it comes to invest, we have 50 bucks. So the total, of course, is $180 with zero left. So let's see where that money really went. So I'm going to flip over to the... Oh, now my page is been. Hi, everybody. This is how everything looked when I went back and used my whiteout. I need to buy some more, but as you can see, I had $130 to save and $50 went to my Roth. So that's it. You guys enjoy your day and subscribe if you did enjoy. Bye.